And the escape of these two inmates is the <laughs> latest in a series of issues facing Philly's jails. The NBC10 investigators have been chronicling the increase in homicides, overdoses, and staffing issues since the beginning of the pandemic. Investigative reporter Claudia Vargas joins us now with details on what led to the inmates' escapes. Yeah. Well, Tracy, like other public safety agencies, Philly's jails are struggling to retain and hire staff. They have about 60 percent of the workers they need to not just guard the jails, but make sure the facilities are maintained, including that the cells lock properly. As city officials investigate how two inmates were able to escape through this triangle-shaped hole in the fence, one internal document points to staffing issues. An incident report obtained by the NBC10 investigator says that inmates Amin Hurst and Nazir Grant were able to compromise their cell door and exit their housing unit that was unmanned due to staff shortage. It goes on to say that the men escaped through a hole in the yard and climbed over a fence and that they were able to leave the ground undetected because of posts being closed due to temporary staff shortage per order of the executive office. However, a spokesperson for the Department of Prisons says that description is not accurate. He texted a photo of what the city says is the official summary of what happened. It makes no mention of staffing issues. The spokesperson, however, did not respond to questions about existing orders regarding staffing posts. The number of workers has been an issue for the Philly jails since 2020. The escape is only the latest, most um, notable sign of the lack of staffing and the lack of staff supervision uh, that's been plaguing the jails for quite some time. Noah Barth is a prison monitor with the nonprofit group, the Pennsylvania Prison Society. They advocate for humane prison conditions. We've been observing and reporting on decrepit conditions, problems with rodents, moldy showers, broken lights, broken phones, uh, inoperable locks. Um, so the problems are diffused. With about 4,000 inmates, Philadelphia jails are supposed to have more than 2,000 full-time staff, including guards, maintenance, and health care workers. City records show that full-time staff at the city's jails went from 1975 in 2020 to 1291 last year and up slightly to 1318 so far this year. All those exact same gaps have resulted in people dying, in people going unattended in state of emergency, in people missing court dates. There's been riots and assaults between inmates and inmate to staff. Some of that was previously attributed to faulty locks. During the prison's department budget hearing last month, the commissioner, Blanche Carney, spoke about the locks at the jails getting replaced. Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Facility has 90% of the completion of the locks. We had 10% that requires significant framework before you could install the new, the new locks. So those are the outstanding 10% um, at PICC. And PICC is where the two inmates escaped from. Now, just minutes ago, a spokesperson for the department says the locks the inmate cells were in have been checked and they do work. Of course, this leads to more questions about how they got out. Right. And then you mentioned two different reports, two competing mm -hmm. ones. Which one is, are we supposed to believe? So the labor union representing the correctional officers say that the lieutenant who filled out that initial report that right. says that there were staffing issues did file that in the system. And he says it is possible the administration can amend that in the system. We don't know if that's what happened. The city has only said so far that's not accurate. We're not saying that this was a result of staffing issues. And mm. Claudia, staffing issues, that's a problem that we're seeing in police departments all over the country, not just here in Philadelphia. Correct. But what's the city's plan to get the staffing levels up to par in the jail so something like this won't happen again. Yeah, well, the commissioner says she's increasing the pay for those people coming out of the academy to get into the jails. Um, they're also trying to recruit actually retired uh, correctional officers, and they say that so far four of them have actually taken them up on it. So mm. they're saying if more want to come back and work for a little bit and help out, uh, they welcome that. And then they're also opening up two more academies uh, to try to get more recruits. Mm. Mm. You know you'll keep following it for yeah. us. Thanks. Thanks, Claudia. Mm -hmm.